Hello everyone, happy Friday. It is Connor here, congratulations. We have made it to the weekend after holiday break. I hope you guys all had a good week and um, just made it through conquering it. It is time for some candle reviews today. I've got three brand new candle reviews here and all three of them are from Yankee Candle. So we'll be talking some classic scents and then this first review is actually a new one all part of their holiday 2022 collection. So we're kicking it off with Winter Night Stars. Now, before I get into the review, uh, Yankee is doing a semi-annual sale right now that they do um, in the winter every year. And then they also do one in the summer. Um, and they pretty much in the winter, they clearance off all their December and like fall stuff. So all the Christmas and fall stuff. And then in the summer, they usually clearance off all the spring and summer stuff. So if you want to get some pretty good deals, I would definitely... Head into your Yankee store if you do still have one. I know a lot of you don't. I have to remember that. I still have one. I work at mine. But um, yeah, um, you can also purchase online on their website, which I will link down below. If you're interested in this candle at any point in the video, it is on sale right now for half off being at $15.50. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the review of this one, starting off with the description and notes. So... Winter Night Star says, gaze up at the starry night sky as notes of rose, amber, and musk swirl on an icy breeze. Your top notes are citrus, fresh fallen snow, and eucalyptus. Your mid notes are rose, solar winter blossom, sorry, solar winter bloom, not blossom. And then your base notes are snow, amber, wood, and ivory musk. So this is a really, really pretty scent. Um, I was kind of intrigued when I saw the notes before I had smelled this one at all, even on cold. And then when I smelled it, I was like, wow, this is really pretty. Now, it doesn't like specifically make me think it's a holiday scent. It definitely doesn't scream holiday. And what I've learned is I think the holidays are different for everybody. So when I think of the holidays, I'm thinking more of like a balsam and cedar tree or like a holiday gourmand or peppermint like that's what I think of during the holidays this is definitely not what I would think of for the holidays I think that this is more of a good after holiday scent for like January and February so for what I pick up in here it's a really pretty scent by the way I'm not hating on the scent at all this is actually my favorite in the collection I think um this one and then the Snow Globe Wonderland. I really like both of them, but this one is just specifically really pretty. Um, so the notes that I get in here, I definitely pick up like a floral. So I get, um, I do get the rose. I think I get like a, just like a pretty like perfuminess to this one. And I think that that probably comes from the amber and the ivory musk. Um, I do get like a little bit of citrus in here. It's nothing crazy, but I just think that it kind of gives it like a balanced out smell with like the floral and the perfume. Um, I do get like a freshness to this one with that fresh fallen snow and it kind of gives it like a clean laundry smell almost. I wouldn't say it's like a cotton or like a laundry detergent scent. But it definitely has like a freshness to it. It's just a very complex scent, but it's really pretty and I actually enjoy it a lot. Um, I think I would repurchase this one again. Again, I'm not sure it's one that I would be like, yeah, I should burn this during the holidays, but I think maybe for like January or February, this one would be really pretty to burn. Um, clearly that's what I'm doing here. Um, but yeah, I just do really like the scent. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments for this scent. I would love to hear what you guys think if you have smelled this one. Okay, so now let's get into the performance of this one. So as you can tell, I am burning it in the signature large jar. So um, I prefer these just because I like the label on the jar compared to the tumbler. The tumbler is the one that's got like the flat lid and it's like skinnier. 
Um, it has like the label is just like kind of a wrap around label and it has stuff all over the place. I just like this one because it's just got like the Yankee candle, the title, and then like the two images. I didn't like the design on these and I really was because I used to only shop like the large one wick paraffin jars and I don't really shop by it and buy those now. These are my go-to now. I really love the signature. Um, but when they first did the signature, I was like, Ugh, I hate the label. Like I really liked the color label. And honestly, now I prefer this over the older labels. I just really like the like design of them. I like how they look simple and kind of more modern, but in a good way. And I like the illustrations and just the way the text looks so I really love the look of this and then I also really love the wax color of this jar I know you can barely see it because I'm really burned this one down um but I do really love the look of the wax color um okay but as far as the performance goes with the signature you're definitely going to get what I would say is a cleaner burn while you're still going to have a few burn issues like you may not be able to see it but I did get like some like dirty issues like where it's sooting a little um a little bit of wax residue on the side but it's definitely going to be a much more like clean burn i guess and a much more even burn you're also going to get a major increase in strength and throw compared to the original jars that was a big problem for me with the original jars and now i don't have that problem because i think that the signature is really based off of um giving you more increased strength and throw I do believe that these are like a soy, I don't know if they're soy blend or 100% soy. It probably says it on here somewhere. It just says it's a premium soy wax blend. Okay, so it's a soy blend and so it's obviously going to have much more strength and throw. It's going to burn better than a uh, like paraffin wax. But I will go ahead and give you guys an overhead view. And again, I am getting a little bit of dirtiness from this one, like here on the rim. It's not too bad, um, and I've definitely had worse, but it is a little bit dirty. Not bad enough to the point where I'm like, need to put this in the crock, but it has been pretty sooty on me. Um, and then if you can see on the sides, I like just get wax residue, which I'm not really worried about that, and it doesn't really mean anything. It's just the way that it burns. Um, but if you don't like the way of like the wax rings on the side, then I would definitely um, would be cautious. But I'm fine with that. It just doesn't make it look as nice, I guess. And then for the actual burn, here is how it's doing. It is a two wick candle, and it's burning pretty well. Um, I've had no wick issues at all, which is good. Um, and I've just been trimming them after every burn. Normally with Yankee, I always trim my wicks. They, um, just something with their wicks. They have cotton wicks, but something with their wicks, um, I just always trim them or they will get sooty because they get pretty big. So always trim your wicks with Yankee, but the burn has actually been doing pretty well. As far as the strength in the throw goes, this one is definitely a stronger one for me. I would give it like a five and a half to a six, um, pretty on par with like the other Yankee signatures. Um, it's definitely not really a light scent on cold either. This is just a strong fragrance and I feel like it gets out into the room as well. Um, I have been burning it in my kitchen and it's just been a really pretty scent. I also was like burning it in my bedroom, which of course in a close concept, it's gonna be much stronger. But um, in my kitchen, it actually did pretty well, but it's a really pretty bedroom scent. I meant to say that it's a very pretty bedroom scent. Um, and I actually was burning this one for most of the time in my bedroom. I just recently brought it downstairs, but yeah, that is my thoughts on Winter Night Stars from Yankee Candle. Definitely uh, let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts are on this one. If you've had it, how was the burn and performance for you? And did you like it on cold? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new here. And then make sure to turn on that notification bell so you can get notifications every time I upload. I will be back for two more candle reviews later today, and I will see you guys then. Bye.